double deck with random program selection. Victor KD, WX70. 73,800 yen. The standard weight for decks these days is 5 kilograms. This deck weighs 5.2 kilograms, but it's the size of a mini component stereo, so it's well built. Despite its mini size, it's fully equipped, even with a 10 key program selection key. The panel layout is packed with unnecessary elements, but it's surprisingly easy to understand and use, so even beginners can use it without getting confused. Two motors for running, one motor for the mechanism. Because the panel is narrow, there is no eject button, and the eject method is to press the top corner of the holder. The A mechanism left holder is for playback only, while the B mechanism right holder is for reverse recording and playback. It uses a combination rotary head with a recording slash playback head and an erase head, and recording slash playback is probably the same as the A mechanism. Dubbing is possible with one touch. There are two buttons in the center of the lower panel, the left one for constant speed dubbing and the right one for double speed dubbing. Either way, it starts with one touch. The line output is a little low at 0.3V, but it is rather easy to use. Dolby has B and C. Dolby is turned on and off simultaneously for the A mechanism and B mechanism. It automatically turns off when dubbing. Recording slash playback frequency response checked with pink noise. As it is unlikely that metal tape will be used, only normal and high position tapes were used. Normal has a slightly high pitched sound, but the character of the tape comes out. I was surprised at how flat the low end is. The bias is a little shallow, and it is probably adjusted to be flat with 400 yen tapes. The adjustment method is the same as for the normal one, where the low-cost UD2 is flat even in the high position, and the SA has a slight high-end boost. Even so, it's impressive that a double deck of this class has a flat 20Hz to 16kHz response. The problem is dubbing, but changing the head during recording and playback can easily cause high-end drop. The key point is how much of that problem has been solved. Following the instructions to use the same type of tape for dubbing, I tried dubbing from SA to SA. I tried both constant speed and double speed, but there was no particular difference, so only double speed is shown. It's a pretty high-end boost. After investigating, I found that there is no difference in the characteristics of the A and B mechanisms, and the compatibility is close to 100%, so the slight high-end boost characteristic during SA recording and playback is exactly doubled. If you use a normal one that costs around 400 yen, or a UD2 for the high position, you can dub with flat frequency characteristics. When recording and playing back music sources, or dubbing, there is little wow and hula or level fluctuation, the range is wide, and there is little difference from the source. Compared to single and one-way machines in the same price range, it is not so good in terms of signal-to-noise ratio and sensitivity, but overall it is a high CP machine. Not just any other W cassette. This is a multifunction W deck with program selection, editing dubbing, and quick reverse recording and playback. Dub only the songs you want to listen to in the order you like. This somewhat tedious procedure has been automated all at once by the computer. New function installed in the playback only A mechanism, selection of 10 songs and 16 memory programs. Dubbing can be started with one touch fixed speed slash double speed. The B mechanism is Victor's reliable recording and playback quick reverse system. The newly developed computer shift control makes blank skip, blank search, rewind autoplay, and more a breeze. A new generation W deck that has changed the W deck. 